All right, boys, it's Friday, it's beer 30. You know what that means. Time to work on the floor runner. This time we got the front diff out and we're gonna put 529 gears in it. So here I got the diff all cleaned up, ready to come apart. I got my Yukon install kit, all new seals, shims, bearings, crush sleeve, couple crush sleeves, and my 529s from Yukon gear and axle as well. Got a little bit of uh, gear marking paint. So I've never done one of these before. So I'm just gonna stumble through it and I found a good bit of resource online to help me through it. I got a buddy across the parking lot who's done every diff under the sun. So if I really get stuck, I can call in reinforcements, but I'm gonna give this one a try and see what happens. We got our man Carter in the house. Right in there, Le lending his expertise. Nice heat soap. <laughs> so I got this uh, pinion bearing in the freezer overnight and we're just gonna heat this case up enough to get it in there because there's no, no good way to press it in. Oh, hopefully, right now. Hopefully, Not a case. hopefully it drops right in there. We've got this little cockeyed spot we can we can try. We can always pop it back out too. It doesn't work, but here she comes. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. There it goes. I don't want to say I was losing hope. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Nice. I'm sure it's there. Yeah. I mean, it looks it looks fucking pretty sweet. Imagine it is pumped right down in there. Well, that was an absolute shit fight, and it's only because I don't know what I'm doing. But I finally got it set up, and everything is great. I got, I'm in spec on the pinion preload, I'm in spec on the carrier bearing preload, I'm in spec on the backlash. So now, I essentially have to tear it all back apart, new stuff, all around, reassemble it, recheck it, seal it up, put my seals in, and I'm done. Ugh. And then I gotta do the rear. All right, guys. After a little bit of a hiatus waiting for parts and uh, a lot of curse words, we're back on the front diff for the Forerunner. I ordered and received a new pinion nut because the old one was just getting hammered. Coming on and off, on and off, setting the pattern that I wanted. So I just ordered a new one, it was like 250. And I got a solid spacer instead of the crush sleeve that came with the install kit because I could not for the life of me crush that crush sleeve. The kit came with two, I put one in my press and I tried to press it to start it, to get it to start to crush so I could draw it in with a nut. And it, my press wouldn't even make it budge. So instead of that, this is a much better option. It's solid. So if you hit your pinion flange on a rock or you're hammering on it, it's not going to start to crush over time, which is a big problem for these things. So the solid spacer goes in its place, very easy to set up. And that's what we're going to work on today. And hopefully we'll get this thing buttoned all back together and back in the truck because this is the last thing I was waiting for. The, my pattern is set. Uh, I already set my backlash and all that stuff. So at this point, I just have to set pinion preload and I've already set the ring gear preload, the carrier preload. So that's it. Just got to get this installed, sealed back up and put it back in the truck. All right, I got my first, my first stack of shims on here. They're right at the base. So, measured 80 thou. Here we go. 
You guys probably won't be able to see this. Oh, let me back it up a little bit. But I got it first try. It's not the best wrench, but we're within five to 10 inch pounds of preload. And I got it on the first try. So I'm calling that a win and I am going to slap this thing back together. Sorry, it wasn't more, more in detail. It was my first time and there was a lot of curse words and it's there and I'm happy with it. So I'm slapping it back together right now and we'll move on to the next. Well, there we go, guys. This friggin' thing is done. This thing kicked my butt. I'm not gonna be a how-to channel. Uh, I know a couple guys are asking for me to do a setup video on this. I struggled like you wouldn't believe. I watched a really great video from, um, I think it's Timmy the Tool Man or something. I'll, I'll see if I can find it, put a link in the description below, but it's with the CEO of East Coast Gear Supply and he does a very thorough uh, locker install on this front clamshell. And he also does a really great sort of tutorial setup video on the rear third member. And one of the things that he said is that if this is the first differential that you're gonna set up uh, for pattern, for backlash, for preload, which it is for me, he said, this is not the one to set up first. But I went ahead and did it anyway. So the third member on the Toyota is typically very easy um which i'm looking forward to getting to next however i had this one out so i thought i'd take a stab at it and i got it the pattern is good the backlash is actually perfect the preload is actually perfect i got the solid spacer in there so i'm pretty happy with where i'm at now i got my new pinion nut on there which reminds me i gotta jam it shut right now that's that on that next the uh, third member is coming out of the rear and we're gonna get that one tackled. I'm really excited to get this thing stabbed back in the truck and get that steering rack all bolted back up and have the front end completely done, geared, resealed. The third member in the rear, I'm not too worried about. It's just this whole front axle setup. so. Morning boys, Saturday. We gotta get that front diff in. And that's a little bit complicated. Let me show you what I got. I got this thing blown right apart on the trailer. And it may not look like much of an angle, but it's enough of an angle that I had to take some drastic measures. So as soon as I started jacking up the front, these jack stands started to tilt. And I thought, why not add a little bit of safety measures so that when I'm under the front there, the whole forerunner doesn't fall on me. Do not try this at home, not recommended, but here we are, gotta get it done. So, as you saw, the front diff's all prepped and ready. Got the steering rack out this morning. I blew all this stuff apart. So it's just a matter of forcing my will upon that front differential to get up in that hole. And that's all there is to it.
pay somebody else to do it. This is this is no fun. <laughs> I'm gonna end this one off here, boys. Thanks for watching. What do you gotta say, bud? Come on. From me and the pup, we'll see you next time. <laughs>